a little boy discovers an old abandoned automobile in the woods. What he discovers inside astounds him. The Joneses have been hiking for as long as they can remember. The youngsters like the calm and relaxation that nature provides, so they frequent the forests that surround them. They traveled nearly a hundred miles away from their city one day. The day was about to get better, but they had no idea that a chance discovery would make it the best they'd had in years. Specifically, when the family set up their temporary camp, Justin decided to go for a walk and seek mushrooms. He noticed an abandoned truck in the middle of the bush all of a sudden. He began yelling, Mom! Dad! But they couldn't hear him. As it began to become dark, Justin intended to enter the abandoned car and spend the night there, but he was interrupted by his father's call. Justin was pleased and delighted to show his father the antique automobile. They discovered a box inside the truck with etched instructions after inspecting it. Please take this box to the address below if you find it. May 7, 1995, Davis, Vincent. They took a short peek inside, curious to see what was there, and the find astonished them. There were war medals, gems, and gold bars within the box. The father and son understood that the address inscribed on the box was not far from where they were. First, they removed the box and carried it to where the rest of the family was. After a while, Justin's parents asked him what he wanted to do with the box. Justin said he intended to take it to the individual whose address was on it without hesitation. Excellent work. We're proud of you for doing the right thing, his mother remarked. The next day, Justin and his father drove to the specified house and knocked on the door. An older woman opened the door and asked if she could assist them in any way. That's when the two of them presented her with the box. Oh dear, she sobbed, tears welling up in her eyes. About 25 years ago, my husband discovered that his grandfather had left him an inheritance. His grandfather buried it in the forest to keep my husband's father from stealing it, she began to explain. My husband went to look for it, but he never returned. We discovered his frozen body along the roadway. We looked for the car, but no one had ever located it in the neighboring trees. Linda wiped her tears as she said, It's a miracle you found it. The authorities believe his car broke down and he went to seek assistance. He never found assistance and died on the way. He most likely became disoriented. The woman's main thought as she looked through the old images was, Jack, I miss you so much. After rummaging through her belongings, the woman stated, We never had any children and I don't have anything to spend my money on. Please keep the gold, I don't need it. I only want his medals, photographs, and jewelry because they are a family heirloom for my husband. The Joneses refused to accept the riches, but because the lady insisted, they eventually accepted. However, after they parted ways, Justin told his father, Dad, Linda's house looked very old, almost abandoned. Can we repair it? The father agreed, and they both decided to use the money to renovate Linda's house and then donate the remainder to various charities. Linda gained a new family that day when the Joneses began visiting her and inviting her around. The moral of this story is that we should always do the right thing, no matter how tempted we are, for kindness and good deeds go a long way.